reading from the Gospel of John. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God, and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean, and you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example, that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you now only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. A friend and spiritual guide, Christine, presented me with this picture which she had made for my ordination as deacon. It is a good image for a deacon, and a good image for any Christian, highlighting the servant-hearted nature of Christian life, and especially today on Maundy Thursday. And I love the attention to detail, the left foot dipped into the water ever so slightly, the bowed head of our Saviour as he cradles the right foot and swaddles it in a drying cloth. Let's try to put ourselves into this picture. Let's put ourselves in the place of the one being served. Imagine ourselves as that follower of Christ, being bathed and cleaned and lovingly served by Christ. Notice the feelings this brings up. Embarrassment. Loss of control. And finally, acceptance. That to follow Christ means having the grace to allow others to be our helpers. 
let's turn to the figure of Christ in the picture. To follow Christ is to emulate this love, this attentiveness to our fellow human beings. Then we will know that he is ours and we are his.